on it. Most of you recognize this that have been around on the channel for a while. This is the Super POS. I think it was an Avastar or one of the Tower Hobbies ones. I'm not sure, but 40 size trainer that I rebuilt after putting it in the ground really good. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take this fuselage frame and I'm going to build it completely out of foam. Because it never flew right after it crashed. Even though I rebuilt it, it still didn't fly very good. So I'm going to try to build a foam fuselage exactly like this one. And use the wing up there. The balsa wood wing on a foam fuselage. And see if it can be done and hopefully it flies well. So that's going to be my next project. All right, well, I cut out my fuselage sides for the 40 size trainer. I traced, well, tracing didn't quite make it perfect, so I had to measure the other fuselage and draw it out and then cut it out. And I cut some plywood bulkheads, three of them, to give it some stiffness. And I'll probably put real thin ply here on the inside because I'm going to make it a tail dragger. So I'm going to need something for that landing gear block to glue to that's sturdy. But this is what I got so far. I'm going to go ahead and coat it with my Minwax now. That way when I go to paint all that's done before I put the rest of it together. pretty big. I had to glue two pieces of foam together. I used thin basswood to do that. So that ought to be strong yeah. enough. I guess we'll find out. Alright, well, I've got my plywood doublers in there. Really thin basswood for the side of the fuselage and then a little bit thicker plywood here for the formers. So I just wanted to show you that before I glue it all together. Hopefully it's not terribly heavy. It doesn't feel very heavy. It's definitely not as heavy as the, the plywood balsa wood original fuselage. Alright, well you can see I got the fuselage all glued up. Still got to put firewall and a couple more formers in it. But I'm going to take the BL25 out of the scratch build here. I built, I don't know, six months ago. And I'm going to put it in this much bigger model. But it should be a lot lighter than that model. So I'm going to get that motor out of there. And I might steal the landing gear. I'm not sure if I'm going to make one or, or what I'm going to do on the bigger one here but that's where it's at now this is the motor I'm putting in this airplane I pulled it out of the old airplane and look at that I didn't find the other piece of it but apparently it scraped against something and scraped the wire covering right off so I'm kind of glad I pulled it out of that now. But this is the E-Flight BL25 1000 kV motor. It should be plenty of power. I'm hope, hoping. I don't need something that's crazy. This is going to be a trainer more or less for my son. But yeah, I thought that was interesting. So I'm going to take some heat shrink and fix that before I put it in the new airplane. And I went ahead and did something a little different here since I don't have bolts. I'm going to go ahead and use the tech screws and then Gorilla Glue on the back side. That way it doesn't vibrate the screws loose. We'll see how that works. I'll keep an eye on it, but it's something I've never tried before, but I don't see why it wouldn't work, especially since it's Gorilla Glued on there. So, motor mount's done. 
Just gotta let it dry. All right, got my servos installed. Got them way in the back because my push rods are pretty short. And the tail wheel is glued on to the fin. Well, the tail pieces are coming along nicely in the middle of painting. That's the fuse up there. Hopefully we get this done soon and we can put it all together. Well, it's a whole lot of different colors, but hopefully when we peel the tape off, it looks good. So stand by. Well, that looks a little better with the tape off, don't it? It's a couple little bleed over spots, real minor. That's that's hot glue there. I couldn't get that off without ripping the paper. Turned out pretty nice. Not bad for a foam board airplane, huh? Pretty uniform on both sides. Right here, some of my tape pulled just a little bit of that blue out of there. And if I wanted to get real crazy, I would mask it up again and shoot this line again. But I'm not going to spend no more time on paint. I think it looks plenty good. Alright, moving on. All right, well I got the tail on and I made a rear skin out of the basswood I have, the real, real thin stuff. You can see how thin it is. Servos are hooked up. I've already tested them out. They work great. Cut a nice little slit there with my roto tool. Everything's hooked up. Works well, works w real well. Hopefully my tail wheel stands up to the abuse of our field, but I think it'll be fine until it comes off. But it's a, turned out really clean back here. So now I gotta put the motor in. Finish skinning, do the windshield, and all that good stuff to finish it up. All right, well, got the motor mounted, the front windshield, <clears throat> the back windshield, and the servo cover on the side there, or on the top there. Everything's hooked up. Up the receiver and the ESC. Get that put in and get the landing gear and the wheels put on. And then she'll be ready to go. Well, there it is, all finished. Ready to go. 40 size foam board rebuild of it looks like it was a Habaco super something at one time <clears throat> she's ready to go now we just gotta go out and fly it thanks for watching please like and subscribe and keep your eye out for the test flight